So are we gonna do like a whole training montage of things? A few days later. Don't you see? Discouraged after a mere eight attempts? Sierra. How many times must I try? As, as many, many as, it, as takes. it takes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I'm not getting anywhere. We shall return to this later. Didn't make it far first time out on the gauntlet either. Geralt, please, not now. By comparison, the gauntlet was a walk in the park. But that's not the point. What is? Avalar says nothing will come of this until I stop thinking about the battle. But at the moment, I find it impossible to fill my head with kittens and vanilla pudding. Kittens and vanilla pudding sound nice, though. Tell me, how do you do it? What? Always manage to pull yourself together. Focus. No matter what's happening. Uh, relax. You don't have to be good at everything. Think I know what might lift your spirits? We'll go with this. Hmm. There's a certain ancient method. Vesemir taught it to me, and Barman taught it to him. Will you take me into the mountains and make me drink hemlock? The Skellica druids have used it for centuries. It always works. Hey! You'll regret that. Okay, this was definitely the better option here. Oh, hey, wait. That's cheating. Yeah, what the hell, lady? <laughs> Win. We'll see about that. <laughs> I can handle myself. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, now that I'm on the other side of this whole teleporting business, this is terrifying. <laughs> It's okay. I am a good shot with these snowballs. <laughs> Don't let the snowballs hit you. Zero of eight. All right, all right. I need more snowballs. How do I get said snowballs? Make more snowballs. Yeah, how? Probably interact with the wall. Ooh. Ha ha! Bring it on, Siri. Wow. Boom. There you go. You're predictable, ZRL. Maybe this is how the archers were able to do things beforehand. Whoop! Oh, shit. I missed. That's okay. Whoop! Maybe I should allow her to hit me once. You know, she needs to feel better about everything. Oh, no! Not a snowball! Yeah, oh, Siri. Wow, poor show. Okay. You're getting hit for that one. Says the teleporting lady. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Siri. Oh. Oh boy. Things are getting extreme here. I'm standing still. Flip. Oh, playing nice. <laughs> you were right. That really works. Thanks. Glad to be of service. So what now? I'll go see where our dearest sage is. <laughs> I like that option. So the secret to life is fun and treating her respectfully. Gotcha. Get up. We must go. I've saddled the horses. Siri, it's the crack of dawn. Where do you want to go? To Velen. Bald Mountain. But a few days till the Witch's Sabbath. And guess who's the guest of honor? Uh, don't care. <laughs> Enlighten me. Dunno. Enlighten me. 
Imlarith. We'll what? have no better chance to get him. Where'd you get this idea? What's gotten into you? I must avenge Vesemir. The Sabbath. It's the perfect opportunity. Imlarith will be drunk among his cohorts, caught up in the revelry. He'll not expect the blow. That's exactly when he'll expect the blow. Also, wait, what? How do you learn all this? Imlarith? The Sabbath? Avilach. He told me of those who chase us. Claims knowledge itself can tip the scales. Come. We shall talk on the way. Uh, I gotta visit the Emperor first. Alright, Velen it is. Yeah, no, let's go. Lead on. Fuck him, Rear. I'm not gonna take him. her to him. Let's go. Maybe if he fucking helped, but he didn't. After the Battle of Kaer Morhen, the defenders licked their wounds and mourned their losses, save Ciri, who began to plan her revenge. She woke Geralt one night and urged him to travel with her to Velen, to the top of Bald Mountain, where she knew she'd find Imlarith. She had decided he had to die. So I guess we're finally heading into Bald Mountain. Hey, maybe I'll get that place of power that I wanted. Place was locked off before. The men at Crow's Perch, they spoke of this place. Ard Serbin, home of the ladies of the wood. Oh boy. The peasants feared coming here. And the Baron thought the Ladies of the Wood a terrifying tale for naughty children. Incidentally, I wonder how the Baron is. He found his wife, took her away somewhere far. Anna, she was unwell. A true shame. You actually know this area? Centuries ago, it was a hallowed site for druids. But then the crones arrived destroyed the Velen Circle, and deformed the Sacred Oak atop the mountain. An important feast is observed here annually. The Sabbath, they call it. All the local folk attend. I suspect Imlarith attends too, as the Crone's guest. That's so Seems weird. Well. Avalark's a good tutor. Why in the m <laughs> Okay, it's just really odd to me that a wild hunt member that can go between the worlds and everything and is trying to take our world just casually goes to a feast sometimes. And he's like, hey, that's good. All right. I know I've been trying to, you know, roll over the world, but let's be honest, who doesn't want to dominate everything? Uh-huh. Am I right? Am I right? All right, let's have a good feast. We stand to find Imlarith here? You sure? Avalok told me of beings who commune with the NL Elves. They can be found in every part of our world. In Velen, the Crones do this. Apparently, Imlarith came here at Eridin's behest, to order the Crones to keep their eyes open and ears pricked, in case Avalok were to seek shelter in his Velen hideout. Took the order literally, judging by all the ears hanging in the woods. <laughs> Think Imlarith might still be here? He craves the pleasures of the flesh, wine, sex. The crones indulge him, flatter his ego. I'm certain he'd not let this opportunity pass, and we'll be on Bull Mountain for the Sabbath. All right, well, let's go and stab him or something. Let's get this done. We must reach the peak. We'll find Imlarith there. The peasant folk of Velen call this Loads night of the Feast of Gifts. A crowd of peasants came no through idea here. Why. Uh, there is going to be trouble afoot. Apparently, many afoots. <laughs> I'm sorry. Avalach claims vanity is Imlarith's greatest weakness. Vanity? Any foe he faces, he strives to impress. The other one, Caranthir, is said to be secretive and pragmatic. Hardly surprising, given he was Avalach's student. Hmm. So, are they both going to be here? 
I, I'm just gonna expect Imalir. Imalir, uh, or Imalrith. <laughs> I guess I can see that. The way he just tries to flaunt everything and fight everybody. The white one once served the ladies. But he's an outsider. Let them approach. But they've come for the feast. Wouldn't do to cast them out. Didn't come to celebrate. We need to get to the top of the mountain. The gate is shut. You'll not pass. But we fires down that away with food and drink aplenty. Sit down beside one, and perhaps this year the ladies will descend. Give us the privilege of seeing them. It's definitely no privilege. We'll sit down by a fire. Time we were on our way. This might be a, one of the legitimate chances where I go, eh, I'll go with the option with that symbol. We thank you for the invitation. Be glad to sit down, right? Speak for yourself. Come with me. Ugh, that guy's gonna be trouble. Uh, let's see. The gate, why can't we get past it? The ladies descend to you, what then? What's the feast celebrate? We should go. <laughs> I like how we could just do that. Mentioned a gate, said we wouldn't pass. Only the Chosen visit the ladies. Every year, young lads and lasses climb the mount, but never more than three. Let me guess. The young lads and lasses don't return. No, they return happy and radiant. But rare is the one who then stays in Valen. Off they go to seek fortune in the wider world. Hmm, maybe it's just an illusion. And then they just disappear. Why <laughs> look at all these fucking deer just walking around. Ladies of the wood visit you? If they favor us. My father told me they descended once. Passed from fire to fire, listening to hopes and grievances. So each year, we wait for them to walk amongst us once more. Haven't done it in a long time, then. No point waiting to see if we'll get lucky. Yeah, we gotta try to reach the peak. This celebration, what's it about? What do you need to know, Wanderer? You still on about it? For anger. The White Ones serve the ladies as we do now. We send them gifts all year long. And on this night, they repay us with their blessing. I met one of your gifts to the crones. Snivelling. Scared to death and about eight years old. Stay calm. Uh, changing topics. Why do the ladies need your children? We know why they need our the children. They eat them! Said the ladies bestow blessings on you. Aye, for our lives turn thus. First a summer of labor neath the hot sun, then autumn rains, then a winter of death. Then we await spring, when all that is dead is born anew. And from our blood and sweat, the oak bears acorns, at times few, at times a handful. What do you do with the acorns? The Velen elders gather, hold council. Some favor grinding them to spread on the fields for a rich harvest. Others want them given to a cunning woman would make medicine for consumption. A handful of enchanted acorns is enough for all Velen. Tis never enough. <laughs> well, at least he admits that fault. Your children. Why do the ladies need them? We know not and never ask. You don't know? Then let me tell you. Tell us instead what a peasant, his own young and starving, is to do with a wandering war orphan. You're not from here. Don't judge us by others' laws. Ooh. That was mighty defensive. You know what you're doing is wrong. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. They fucking eat the kids. And that's bad. Although I guess I shouldn't say much because I had a chance to stop things and I guess I kind of didn't because that was a really weird choice thing that I wasn't aware of, really. Heard enough about this. We've got other questions. 
We should be going. Eager to see the ladies. I share your yearning. We're a fire with yearning. Come, Geralt. We must get there before daybreak. Go to the tent and stand before Thecla. She's the one who decides who's worthy to face the ladies. Already. That's him. He can never know. We each will use that veil as we will. Hell we will. We ensure things that it's one true use as can be revealed to From thence, the many errors. From thence, the casting off of the veil in the dark. If only their gifts are plentiful. Seen him about already. Or not yourself, nor your neighbor. You know, let me talk to this merchant over here. Hey, buddy. Greetings. Having fun at this feast? Wouldn't mind. Let me see what you got, buddy. Okay. Uh, he actually has a good number of the alchemy things that we need for white goals and stuff. I'll buy 20. Why not? Never have to worry about it again. All right. If I ever want to make superior bombs, I have the ingredients. Whoa, holy shit. I didn't realize I have a hundred venom extracts. <laughs> Whoops. Alright, we're just gonna sell some of this stuff and find the lady. Who can get us in with the ladies? Farewell. Wait, hold up. I'm level 29? <laughs> wow. Okay, I went up from level 26 to 29 from that set of missions alone. Oh boy. Alright, that means I can actually get my last mutagen equipped. Uh, where is it? Greater Red Mutagen. Boom. Alright. Now whenever I smack things around, I'll have even more tech power. And that makes me happy. Sometimes I Sometimes no. <laughs> yeah, like hundreds of tears. What are you doing? Sit yourselves down. Rest a spell. I don't like this place. I don't like these people. They're so creepy. I mean, look at this shit. Grandson, give him elf. He works his share of mischief, but he's a good lad. Give him elf. I beg you. <sighs> they don't know. They don't know the true horrors, or maybe they do know the true horrors, and they just like to look, ignore it. A child. Oh hey. No, a godling. I know him. Name's Johnny. I see you found your lass. I'm Johnny. We've had the pleasure already. A bit one-sided though it was. See, I saw you running. You're back to me. As I was <laughs> having the pleasure of... Oh, tis a long story. They call me Siri. Nice to meet you. How are things, Johnny? Health's good, so no complaints. What brings you here? Gotta yeah, see the ladies, but what about you? What are you doing here? Last we met, you and the crones weren't exactly friends. I got an invitation I couldn't refuse. Same as every year. In their peculiar way, the crones tolerate my presence and wish to see me at their Sabbath. So I come, wander about, and go home with the rising sun. What about you? Kind of the same thing. We gotta climb the mountain. Can you help? I'd rather try to dissuade you, but I'm certain that would be in vain. The lass, she is stubborn as you. More so, really. Even more so. <laughs> I figured as much. Oh, path to the peak starts there, past the gate. But only old Thecla's got the key, so since you shan't ever get it, you best turn back now. Right. The key. Why do you doubt we can get it? Oh, good grief! You're worse than children! Three souls are allowed atop the mountain, and only strapping young lads or comely lasses among them. They get the key, open the gate, and meet the ladies. I believe I qualify. But he's old and ugly. Ouch! What good is he? <laughs> Pretty damn good at finding lost voices. Then go find the voice of reason. It'll tell you to turn back. There's no fooling with the ladies. Johnny, you are a sassy little godling. My god. <laughs> We're here to find an elf named Imlarith. Siri thinks he might be a guest of the crones. Big bloke. 
In full plate? Going the right way. He's atop the mountain, all right. You've seen him? Saw him in the bog first. Water froze beneath his horse's hooves. Then I saw him again yesterday, heading up this path. Why are you looking for him? He killed my friend. Wouldn't seek revenge if I were you. Even the ladies bow and scrape before that one. That's why we gotta kill him. Gotta get to the summit. Simple as that. It's Thecla you'll need to convince. She's blind as your bum, but she won't be fooled. We shan't try to trick her. She sits in that tent over yonder. I wish you luck and do hope we meet again someday. Yeah, someday, Johnny. I'll be fine. All we'll have to do is tell her, hey, we want to get, go see the ladies, and I am definitely a young man. Definitely. It's not ready. You've got to wait. <laughs> Where did Siri go? Her AI just kind of fell behind. That's fine. What's up? that well come on come closer girl Aye. what's she like narrow hips sparkly eyes a striking feisty lass never had a man never mind got me answer huh i choose you girl this night you shall see the ladies. Well, that was easy. Siri. Wonderful. Who wouldn't want to meet the ladies? My companion comes with me. <laughs> what else has the cat dragged in? It's grey and veiny, got a scar, and eyes like a viper. Aye. Stinks of clotted blood and corpses. Plus it's old and infertile. I reject ye, freak. The girl will ascend alone. Appearances can be deceiving. I'm worthy. <laughs> What's this about? What have you chosen her for? Tell him. Each year, three chosen have the honor to meet the ladies. What happens after they've had this honor? When they return, they speak of the past no more. Joy rules them and they start life anew. The last were not the first to be chosen this day, but the moon hangs eye, so she's like to be the last. You misjudged me. I'm worthy as anyone. Mm. Girl? He's spryer than any youth. Only smells like corpses because he kills monsters. And he'll kill any who stand in his way. Perhaps I was mistaken. Perhaps there's life in him yet. By ancient right, you may appeal my choice. But to do so, you must best the challenge. Okay, and what is that? What kind of challenge? Tell him. You must descend into the cave and bathe in the waters below the earth. The blood water? And what's the catch? The water's deep. The water's murky. Okay, alright. I can handle the blood water, or just the normal water that's super deep. I accept the challenge. <laughs> Come. Technically, I've already gone into that water. Maybe. I, I jumped in some cave somewhere. Look this over. A coin from days of yore. Falker burns on its reverse, so they call it the Defiers Aura. Now, bring me the coin. Okay, I can do that. That's easy. <laughs> For the hole! Alright, where the hell did this coin go? Retrieve the coin Delka threw in the water by using a witch's senses. Damn! That thing would have just sunk straight to the bottom. I highly, highly, highly doubt that it ended up getting swept up with the current that quickly. Because there's really no current. But, no, yeah, we found it. Alright. Might as well take everything that I can down here. Oh, nope, just empty bottle. Wow, rip off. Okay. But what if there's more? What is over here? 
Is it just an air pocket or is it an actual cave I can go into? Hey! Where does this cave go? Ah, I was right! This is that fucking dead end that we came to beforehand where I was like super disappointed that I couldn't ascend it. Still can't. Fine. We're gonna go give the coin back. So at some point, we're gonna go into that area with the blood water. That red ass water that we saw when we came here for the point of power, the place of power. Or maybe it's just gonna be there forever at the bottom, just kind of as a mystery that we have to ponder about. Hmm, I wonder what that's blood water's for. Ugh, I really don't want to know what they do with the young ladies and dudes that they accept. Maybe that's their blood down there. Alright, I gotta go all the way back up. Still can't summon Roach? That's a shame. <laughs> But this isn't too far away. Why couldn't they have just been waiting for me? Oh. I'm only blind. I can't climb down the mountain. <laughs> Not even Siri was waiting at the edge over there. Oh, I've there we go. To worry. Come, let's get the key. Good. All right, saving just in case. Geralt. 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 Something's afoot. Something's nigh. They're back. What do you want? Can't help but be curious. What's at the summit? Tell him. The ladies dwell there, but only the chosen may look upon them. I know that. I want. You'll learn nothing else here. <laughs> okay. Look, I got your coin. Got that coin you tossed in the lake. It reeks of sludge. Nothing I can do about that. So, can I keep your word? I always do, my boy. Show the coin to the gatekeeper past the threshold. He'll know its meaning. Marika will open the gate for you. Now go! I'm actually a little bit worried about this coin. To do the diving in the cave. Stop whining. You're a witcher. You've dived in murkier waters. Yeah, I have to tell you about the time I hunted a Zugo. <laughs> you know, technically, I've dived in that exact water beforehand in the past. Not even for a coin. Hey, peasants. So, who are the rest of the uh, chosen? Or is it just me and Siri? Hello? Don't worry, guys. I won't die. Probably, maybe, no promises. All right, we're gonna need to speed this up, lady. <laughs> but yeah, I'm a little suspicious. Does giving the coin to the person make them go, ah, oh, I guess we'll send you down a different path, and boom, death water. Because that's what I'd suspect. <laughs> 